Hi there, welcome to the Anderton's <laughs> Drum Channel with myself, Colin. I'm Rob. And today we're going to be looking at percussion and its application to the drum kit. So when you're adding percussion to the kit, you might need a couple of little accessories. So this is a bass drum hoop mount, so we'll let you stick that one yeah, on. Yeah, cool. Uh, this is a grabber arm, so Pearl make this one, but Gibraltar do one and mine will do a similar one. So what's really cool, if you just take the actual like cymbal felt bits off, you're just left with a normal threaded shaft, this will take tambourine, cowbell, uh, like an electronic pad. Sometimes you get little adapters for clicks and things, but this can just go anywhere on the kit. So we'll stick this on this side. Mm -hmm. And then we've got multiple options. I mean, personally, I prefer having a cowbell mounted on, uh, on, the base, on the base room hoop, just because you know it's right there, kind of, if you're leading with your right hand especially, it's just a convenient kind of thing. First weapon of choice. Boom and ting, right, so. Obviously you can use it as, we'll use it application with just the hand first. So, sounds pretty good. That's a little bit awkward. I'm not the best tambourine player to be honest, but let's try our mounted, um, to be honest, uh, it's not quite fitted for the bass drum hoop, so we'll uh, we'll try this on this little bit here. Now, this particular tambourine, this is a minor one, so it's double row steel jingle. It's also got a guiro on the top. Uh, the other cool thing about this one is the clamp goes small enough so you can stick it on the hi-hat rod. Mm -hmm. um, so you yep. can have it either side of your kit. I mean, the one thing that might feel a little bit tricky is that it, it will put excess weight on your, uh, your hi-hat. So if you're doing a lot of chicks, it will kind of add to it. So. That's probably my preferred one, actually. It's a nice, adds a nice, like, texture to the to the chick and when you're stepping your hat. It's because it's steel jingle. Yeah, man. So, so steel through. cut. They do come in brass uh, and aluminium. Aluminium as well. The aluminium is quite a, quite a lot softer, but the brass is really warm and rich. The aluminium records really well. This yeah. is a bit tinny when you record. Yeah, it. it's a bit more kind of uh, suitable for live performance and that kind of thing. The next one, the classic, Cal Blah. Nice. That's quite a cheap cowboy. It's quite it's, nice, actually. Yeah, it's got a so it's got a little bit of uh, deadening in the, in the side of it, which really takes out those kind of nasty overtones and has that. Whoop. Oh, le bloc, le bloc, come in various different sizes, but all have the same mount. This one is blue. Lovely little Latin bad boy. <laughs> so that's sort of adding percussion to the kit that you can just play a groove with in the same way with a stick. This is probably more challenging for Colin. Let me pop that down. This is gonna be fun. So again, it's not too different if you if, if you're good with your molar technique and your timekeeping, it's it should apply quite easily. So let's give it a try. So that little bit of concentration tongue. And that was uh, it. Uh, I did, yeah, it does bit. feel a little bit awkward. So 
So it's a little bit similar, but you can split these up or play traditional stick. I have done that in the past with the maraca, so. You're an idiot. <laughs> yes. Cool. <laughs> cool, okay, so I'm gonna try and hold both, I guess. Similar, it's similar kind of technique, I guess. Nice subtle approach to be fair. I can't not see you as Jim Carrey in a mask, <laughs> but anyway. So that's just about adding different elements to the kit. We didn't change the kit in any way apart from maybe an arm or a little clamp, and it just adds a different texture or well, exactly, yeah. Gives you more options. Like we like we picked a few different tunes that have percussion, but it doesn't matter what genre, everyone mm. adds something different. So definitely. Yeah. yeah. And and yeah, it works perfectly in those kind of kind of quieter environments if you're doing little pub gigs and things like that. Like even like a foot tambourine or things like that would be perfect for it. Yeah, and you can even turn that upside down and have like a second pedal and do left foot clave and things mm. with it. I've done that before. So. Absolutely. So I hope you enjoyed our little array of percussion bits and bobs. Uh, I think my personal favorite was the maracas, actually. Felt good. Uh, do you want to tickle my maracas? <laughs> <laughs>